everybody, welcome back to Runaway Rose. Today, I'm gonna to show you what our number one favorite Lance feature is that we had on both of our Lance truck campers. We loved it so much that I'm gonna install it on our Northern Light. So what is that feature we love so much? It's keyless entry. We absolutely loved it on our Lance truck camper. It's just so easy to come in and out, especially when I go for a walk or whatever. You wanna go somewhere, you don't wanna bother bringing the key or you got a swimsuit on, don't have any place to put a key, that sort of thing. So we just absolutely loved it. It's just super easy to get in and out. And uh, what I bought is the RV lock, uh, keyless entry from RV lock. Um, I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link below uh, if you're interested in looking at getting the same one. Uh, this is the same uh, lock system that we had on our uh, Lance and uh, it worked great. There are some, this one was around $200 when I bought it a couple months ago. I just haven't got around to putting it on yet. But there are some cheaper ones, but uh, since we're used to this one on our uh, other camper, I just figured I'd go ahead and, and get this one. You know, obviously it comes with, I think, a couple keys and it's got the deadbolt in it. And uh, you just put whatever code you want. It comes with a stock code, and then you can change the code to whatever code you want uh, for it. It also has a remote control that comes with it. so. Uh, that's pretty handy. Never really used that much in the past myself. Just I just punched the code in, but uh, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Put this uh, keyless entry on our Northern Light. Let's go. So first off, I'm gonna start by just taking the factory one off of the back of the camper, and then we'll open up the box of the new one, see what's in the box, and then I'll get started on the install. Alright, the original door lock is out. That's what the inside of the door looks like. If you've never seen one, just basically just foam with uh, fiberglass on each side. So, not a whole lot to it. So here I went ahead and I just reassembled the original lock. So I'm going to hang on to that. So that way I can put that back on in case we sell the camper sometime. I can just uh, take this one back off and use that on another camper. That's definitely worthwhile to hang on to. Let's open up the box of the new one and uh, check it out. There it is, RV lock, keyless handles, the original keyless solution. There it is, let's go ahead and open it up. I have not opened this up at all, so, golly. There we go. Nice box with flat black with some shiny black engraved uh, uh, lettering and all and design on there instructions so there it is there's the lock you can lock and unlock it after you put in your four digit code it's got two locks as well as the which includes the uh, deadbolt so that's the front side with some hardware or hardware and the uh, the keys and the remote and then here's the the inside panel just plugs in on both sides there's a battery that goes in there it does obviously come with the instruction manual so it's pretty easy to put back on so not a big deal go ahead and check that out before I get to the install now this is not an install video, I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the front part on first. You can see there where it has to go through the door. Basically just make sure the cord's sticking all the way through. I'm going to kind of go at an angle here. It's kind of hard to do one handed here. So that way I can line up the, the deadbolt and the latch part there. So it's got to come through the door and then the front of it is obviously flush with the door. So let's get to the back side. So on the back side, it's real easy. Just connect the two plugs and then you have to line up the, the deadbolt part of the lock, which is this part, to this thing. That's gotta be in the right position and then make sure it's flush and put the four screws in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that together. I'm gonna kind of fold this wire, tuck it in there. 
trying to look behind it to see the positioning of that lever. So this little lever has a little flat side on it, so that way it'll, when you turn it, it'll engage the, the deadbolt. To be honest, this would have been a little bit easier if the camper was on the ground than having to stand up on the steps. I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna get my regular screwdriver out. I don't wanna over tight these with the power drill there. Snug it up. And there is a little bit of play in this so you can kind of adjust it up and down right now. I have the throws set so it's basically in the middle of area on the door, the opening on the door for the throws. So I'm gonna to try to use the original strike plate. The system does come with two extra strike plates. This one is for the side of the door and then this one is for the door jam. But I'm gonna to try to use the original uh, strike plate there. Comes with some little machine thread screws for the door side and then some more aggressive wood style screws that would screw into the to the jam really for for metal I guess but they're more look like a wood screw so that's about it tighten that up tighten these up on the inside and take these two screws out for the battery because I think there's a little piece of plastic you got to take out to activate the battery get it working Well, that's one way to do it, but yeah, there was a little piece of plastic in there stopping the batteries from making contact. Put the batteries back in. Welcome to RV Lock. And it's already talking to us here. Put the cover back on, put the screws on, and let's try it out. Okay, let's try it out. Works good. Opens easy. One thing I want to point out after using this lock multiple times, it's easiest if you give it a little pressure right here to open it, push in just a tad and then pull the lever and it seems to open real easy. Uh, otherwise, sometimes it can be a little catchier, but uh, you know, it works either way, but it just works a little easier if you do that. Now I'm gonna go check out the, figure out the code thing. I'm gonna be right back. So it comes stock with the code as one, two, three, four, just to show you how it works. Just push and hold. Hold the lock button. Now it's locked, the deadbolt's thrown. And then push one, two, three, four, and unlock. Unlocks that easy. So I'm obviously gonna reprogram this. Uh, so the world doesn't know our code to the camper. So we'll put our own custom code in here but, You know, it's just as easy as one two three four. We actually bought one camper uh, at One time that actually had never been reprogrammed. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the lock button so you can see the deadbolt throw come out Hold it There you go. Now now it's locked from the outside Go ahead and unlock it right in and then here's the manual lock for the inside you can push any button to light up the keypad and then just push whatever buttons you need push the lock button in that case I'm not going to show you my new code but I hit the remote to unlock it it's that easy so that's about it. This RV lock did come with two keys and two remote controls, so that's nice. And uh, it, we're not affiliated with RV lock. We just happen to love it. It's, we thoroughly enjoyed it, having it on our Lance campers. It just makes things so much more convenient. Uh, so to us, you know, it's just a luxury thing, but uh, it's worth a couple hundred dollars to put it back on. 
uh, just makes things a little bit easier when you're out camping in and out of the camper and and that sort of thing you don't have to carry a key around with you and make sure you don't lose it so um, that's about it like again I'll put a link below to this lock if you're interested in that um, got it through Amazon but uh, just another quick little simple upgrade that uh, does make a world of a difference when you're out camping appreciate you watching the video sticking around please like subscribe share all that good stuff I'll see you next time on Runaway Roses bye bye